I started recording before you. You're did right, that. I'm ready. I started recording oh. before you. Oh, did lovely. That. I just you went silent because I, I went silent because I was dick. wondering what was going to be the next thing he said, and I was hoping it wasn't going to be something absolutely heinous. But instead, <laughs> it was just an awful, awful, awful noise. Oh god, I got stuck in this room again. This How is what you teleport? deserve. This is your purgatory. It's just TP and then uh, numbers. One hundred. So like, uh, One hundred. Damn. No, you, it's just a space. One hundred. Damn it. That's the middle of nowhere. Try like 50 by 50. 50? <laughs> That's still so fucking funny. I'm going to do that to you more often. Well, then I'm never going to trust you. Exactly. I'm just going to be like having a normal conversation with you, not even playing a game, not even tell you, and then just start a video. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Oh, dude, that's that's so shitty though. It's gonna be like, <laughs> yeah, so I've violently pissed everywhere and I'm confiding this in you because I trust you and you're like, mm, yes, this will make great YouTube content. content. YouTube channel. <laughs> Huzzah! You, that, your YouTube evil, content. Evil. I'm still so proud of the sprites it's for this room. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. I'm proud for you. What are you what are you proud of? <laughs> I'm proud that I was your friend and gave you the strength and the okay. courage to go out. I knew you, that I knew you. If I if I'm I so, I'm if so... I didn't know you, you wouldn't have reached this. <laughs> so it's my, it's my doing. You made me. You made me. You made me the man who I am. Well, actually, um, <laughs> Apache only got into modding the way he did because I joined his forces with him to create Expand the Gungeon, even though I did ultimately incredibly, incredibly low amounts of what actually became Expand. But that is ultimately why he interacted with you in the first place, so... Uh, um, Apache will back me up on this. We're going real far back. We're going real far back here. Back when me and Apache were trying to make rooms before a room editor existed and literally using fucking text files, it was... Can you stop eating cheese, you fat cunt? Oh my god, why do people say stuff like that? Like, nobody glorifies the fact that you're old. <laughs> like, nobody cares that you used BBS. I care. You should Prove I'm OG. I can't remember how you block this. Do you just punch it? I can't remember. Yeah, I think you have to punch it with the right fist. I thought I did. So, I, I think I'm gonna die uh, here. Like, oh wait, no, I do have a power you punch. You can't, like... Dude, fucking stop eating cheese, you big shithead! Oh, for God's sake. I, I, I punched it! I punched it, you stupid! Cheese-loving... Well, what fist, did, what, what fist did you punch it with? The right one, the one that you threw the fucking box from. <sighs> big bollocks. Asians? Anyways. The left fist? The left fist punches to the right, and the right uh. fist punches to the left. Oh, uh, I did not know that. So I think I think you have to punch with the left fist because opposite. the left fist punches right, Makes and it's sense. coming from the right. But that's just a a, if, a game that's an, theory. If I recall correctly, a game theory. <laughs> oh, dude, I was um, I was looking through. Uh... Are you familiar with uh, Thomas the Plank Engine? I am not, but what the fuck is going on with my stats right now? Oh no. What item is this? Is this one of yours? Cyclopean Chamber. Yes. It re reduces the number of shots on the clip to one, but gives you a damage up for every clip shot that was removed, basically. Interesting. Oh, what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> I was just testing my weapon, chill out. So for I I said, but it's a power. Yeah, this is kinda of, this, this is a very, very is normally in, I'm gonna say it's a very like interesting an, thing to base an AK. on. It's a very interesting there way to base it. There are a few on. other balancing factors. Like I'm guessing I things like the um things like the, the Gatling or whatever it's called. Mm. Are pretty crazy. Yeah, there is a mitigating factor, like the the dip. Oh lord, your connection right now is not good. It, 
to prevent stuff that's too overpowered. Yeah. Your oh, connection is, is is a bit Mother dodgy. Fucker, it's it's shit, like damn it. It kind of it kind of filters in between fine and not fine. Right then it was completely fine. I heard every swear word with perfect uh, clarity. Fuck shit. <laughs> shit fuck. Yes, we can hear Calling you. Calling all <laughs> This is my secret message. Call more sleeper agents. It's time. Pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> I don't. I hate it when it does this. I hate it when it does this. How about um, you get better internet, boy? What else can I possibly close on this computer? It's not the internet connection. The internet's fine. It's this computer's ability to in. <laughs> I like the way it starts cutting out right as you explain. Face with it. Did I immediately go glitch mode? You did. The moment, the, the moment you started to explain fuck. it. Yeah, I, mean, I went glitch mode the moment I tried starting to explain. I could try and uh, just, like restart the computer and see if it works better. How long will you be gone? If you want. How long will you be gone? Is he already Do you gone? want to take a pause? Like grab a drink or something? <laughs> Do you have a drink? I, I'm here. I, do. Hello? I, I said, how long will you be gone? And you just didn't reply. Ooh, a synergy already. Uh, I can pause if you want. I was just... Yeah, it would be I'll nice. Pause. I'll I pause. Right, guys. I'm going to pause because Never Named is Try terrible. It. Be right back. We are back. And Never Named has um, been on a shooting spree of killing all the applications yeah, on his PC. Yeah, I've destroyed everything. I restarted the whole thing. Turns out that there are a lot of startup processes on this that I've never really uh, I gotta say, yeah, worried start, about. Startup processes are something that you need to get gone straight away. By the way, I got a synergy for this thing with uh, monster blood, and I have oh, no yeah. idea. Oh uh, yeah. It okay, it's either the one that makes enemies sometimes leave blood puddles, or the one that makes enemies who explode into blood heal you. Either one seems interesting to me. Because the gun has a, a chance to basically jib enemies into blood bursts. So, uh, usually it's just cosmetic. Okay, it's the uh, puddle one. Yeah, the synergy makes it when that happens, it leaves the puddle of damaging blood. What does the overloading the gun do again with reloading? Uh, each form does more damage up until if you overload it, it explodes and resets. Okay. And it hurts you. So don't overcharge it. Is it worth even charging it with the setup I've currently got with this item? Um, you can do it, I guess. But if it's working the way it is, why would you? Yeah. It doesn't expend any more ammo or anything. Oh, that was such a bad hit. Oh, no, I got it. <laughs> Huzzah. Yeah, so what I was saying before this whole debacle was that oh. the, the item... Uh, it sort of compensates for some guns that are really overpowered by uh, yeah. uh, scaling damage off reload time. So guns that reload really fast are less powerful because you can shoot them more often. Yeah. And guns that would only have one bullet in the clip to begin with aren't effective. They're just trash, yeah. Well, unless they're explosive. I mean... That's not what I was saying, but okay. But I'm, I'm just saying that it won't affect explosive damage at all, in case people don't know. Yeah. Okay, this thing's good. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's just one of those things that it's a really dumb item that can be either run destroying or run making. Right now it's feeling pretty good. The one thing I will say, the one caveat I have about it, is we're not really going to get to showcase weapons as they're meant to be. Yeah, that, that's fair. I don't know what this is. We'll be able to showcase more if uh, we do two recordings. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, maybe. Um, a gun invented by someone particularly lazy with the desire to never meet their enemy face on. You've got his legendary name due to the unique bullet structure causing... The rounds to seemingly whistle. Oh, it's like the thing from the th the one episode of Spun Spang Bab. And it literally only has one ammo anyway, so this is going to be very ineffective. Oh, there's a secret room. <gasps> Up top. Oh. Thank you. Wow. 
I'm so glad. Actually, to be fair, that's pretty good. That fills up this gun. This one's kind of my carrying gun right now. Um, should we go alt path? We probably should, shouldn't we? Go ugly at least. If I could find yeah, the not? room. Ah, that's here. See, I've got an inter inter internal debate going on right now. It's like I could, I could record with you again, but I could also play Elden Ring. Elden Ring's Ooh. pretty fucking good. I'm enjoying it a lot. Ooh. You know what? That's fair. May you know, I was going to say, maybe we'll do like just a personal call or something and just chat yeah. if we're not sick of each other by then. But my, I, I didn't think about what I was saying. I almost called it, maybe we'll just do a pleasure call, you know? Uh, uh. You know, <laughs> as opposed to these very serious business calls. <laughs> these aren't enjoyable at all. No, I hate it. I hate you. I hate <laughs> spending time with you. You're despicable. You're disgusting. You sort of smell bad. Exactly. Over the call, I smell bad. But yeah, meeting you yeah. Was, a, was a purely financial and business decision. Nothing more. Absolutely, yes. Nothing Absolutely, else. yes. I only spend time with you because I can leech money out of you. I still haven't figured out how yet, but I'm sure there's a way. <laughs> this, this and then will be rich! This man right here. Oh, I love this glitch. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, um, that's... It's <laughs> such um, a weird glitch. I th no, I, I, I know why. Uh, something must be going wrong with the IDs. Yeah. Because the magic lamp is ID zero. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So funny. So, and that, since that does, zero... I gotta say, that does, mm -hmm. does, does propose an interesting idea of having a few new enemies that are just like basic bullet kin that hold different guns. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. I'd love to see um, that. Obviously, some guns you wouldn't be able to use, but others could be interesting. I mean, the yeah, whole point enemies. is you find the guns in the gungeon. Can you not be inside the wall? Yeah, enemies inspired by, like... He's only going to path towards you if you move far enough away, Turtle. Um, yeah, but enemies in, whose attacks are inspired by the way certain guns function. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Uh, what I was saying I mean, was, can't, uh, they just, can't they just hold the specific gun? It doesn't have to be that their attack is inspired. Can't they just literally hold the given gun? Yeah, but I mean, typically, they can hold the, that gun and have their attack inspired by the way it works. True, because... but I'm just more so thinking it's literally nothing more than like a bullet kin or a, a, like a veteran just okay, with a different gun. My, my point is, right? Most guns that Bullockkin are capable of using function almost identically to the normal attack pattern anyways. Oh, uh, I see. So a lot of guns just wouldn't work is what you're saying. Yeah, like some guns... Okay, the more interesting a gun is, the more likely it is that a Bullockkin would not be capable of using it. Hmm. That's fair. By the way, that titanium clip in the shop, is that anything I should be interested in, or do you have no idea? Titanium wow, clip. Titanium clip uh, doubles damage, but also doubles ammo consumption. That seems like a really good blend with what I've got going on right now. Honestly, yeah, this it's fucking stupid. Oh, did you see, by the way, that Bunny, uh, he fixed these. Oh, did he? In um... his uh, in-dev version of Planetside, he made them... Uh, trap objects and not entities so i won't get aim assisted onto them anymore yeah you won't get aim assisted and they won't like spawn weird if they're too close to a door and they won't have a chance to be replaced like that one just was yeah it fixes nice. a lot of issues Ooh, that blood does a lot of damage yeah blood's just an interesting thing like uh i decided i wanted to have a creep that did a variable amount of damage that I could be like, spawn blood that does this much DPS. Yeah. And it works. It's really cool, yeah, I like it. Back to this whole thing. This thing's really good because it has piercing and herming. Yeah, if only piercing didn't, like, weirdly lower bullet damage. I mean, I kind of get it. Like, you don't want it to be able to, like, Pierce a bunch of enemies and kill them all in one go. It'd make piercing weapons way too strong. Yeah, but at the same time, like, surely if uh, the player can line up 
and knock down three enemies in a row. They deserve... Yeah, I, maybe it should be diminishing returns rather than the way it is right now. Because I think the way it is right now, it's literally just like, after hit, going through one enemy, it loses like 80% of its damage. Where it should be like, after the first, it loses 20%. And the second enemy, it loses a bit more and a bit more and a bit more sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. That would make more sense. At Karen, it's just like, the first bullet does, you know, full damage. And the second bullet hits like a wet noodle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, there's a secret room in yeah, here, too. Yeah, I see. I see that one. All right, just making sure, because I know you're blind yeah. as a fucking bat. You didn't even notice when I stole it's all your money. It's a baby secret room. Um, I was saying before about Thomas the Plank Engine. Yeah. It's a, a subreddit about memes from dreams. Like, people who had a dream about some, like, something really stupid happening. Or, in the most literal sense, an actual dream about a meme. <laughs> yeah. And then they make it a real thing. And it's <laughs> fucking amazing. And I, I was so gonna... Good. I was gonna, like, mention that, but, like, I don't remember what I was gonna say about it. Just talking about it generally, I guess. I, I don't remember what I was gonna say about it. Um, oh, another thing I should say about this uh, item is that it synergizes really well with reload things. This shotgun? Oh you, oh, you mean the one that makes you reload all the time, yeah. Yeah. So, like, high yeah, holster. It's stuff. really, really good with reload stuff because not only is it, yeah, are you reloading all the time, but you're always reloading on an empty clip. Yeah. Which means that things that trigger on an empty clip are effective. Nice. Can I remember which way this, this uh, synergy goes? Does it give a synergy to this thing? Does it give a synergy to that thing? Or is it both? Well, that's bouncy now, so that's definitely new. Oh, this is the fish one. Oh, I like the synergy a lot. We can peek into chests. Ah. They're fishing. 78, exactly. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, so double damage for double ammo cost. Okay, yeah, I was just checking to make sure it did actually cost two ammo, even though I only have one in the clip and it does. I would have thought it would anyways, but I was just checking, regardless. Beautiful. We are going to be one-shotting pretty much everything for the whole run. I don't think it affects damage stat directly. I think I coded it differently. No, no, it did. It did change my damage stat. Huh. I guess it's just other multipliers that... Well, uh, let me have a look. Yeah, look. It's uh, ah. adds 0 0.5 times oh, to the... Oh, right. Uh... No, yeah, yeah. I remember, because the clipping uh, clip is coded like a fucking toddler did it. Oh, yeah. I forget that the... Um... Sometimes I forget that the uh, trident has bullet deletion. Yeah, that's why I'm using it. I know it's only a small radius, but it's still useful. And especially considering I'm reloading so often... It's going to actually um, make a difference sometimes. It's going to make a difference sometimes. Which is arguably not that big of a difference if it's only <laughs> no, sometimes. That's, that's fair, that's fair. It's just, it's basically like a 50-50 chance if I'm spam firing to delete the bullets in front of me. I think that's pretty decent. <laughs> yeah, like... Oh, how do you have so much health already? I don't know. Whoa, what the hell is this? Oh, this is uh, Planet Side. Bunny added secret floor master rounds to uh that can be used in his special like uh thingamy bobs i didn't know you could find this i thought this was character exclusive exclusive I, th it, I think it's treated like blasphemy where it's like it's a unique character weapon but you can also find it I i'm fairly sure it hasn't been reworked yet but it's getting a pretty major overhaul in the uh Beppin update oh no yeah and that was uh... really cool yeah, that was part of me pushing Bart to be like, Hey, Bart, can you please help? Uh, can you help us? We need someone to look at the UI. And Bart was like, fine, fine. I guess I'll carry this community. <laughs> Bart's lovely. They don't talk like that, but they are carrying the community. Yeah, I'm going to say, I've seen some of the UIs that they've done, and it is actually incredible. I love how um on this tile set, when the elevator lands... Uh, there can be cobwebs inside. I gotta say, I just, I just noticed that. Yeah, I've, I'd never noticed that detail before. But yeah, I was looking right at it as you said it. Yeah, cause, uh, cause on this tile set, if you look up the top there, uh, just if you look around in the corners, sometimes you'll see cobwebs, because that's a part of the uh, Gungeon proper tile set. 
Where? See? Uh, go back to the left. Oh, that yeah, yeah, right there. Right crop. There. Yeah, it's right yeah, up there. Yeah. And on the right part of it, too. Yeah. Yeah, they just, just, there's just random cobwebs. And if they generate uh, in the elevator, you can just see cobwebs inside a wall. <laughs> um, yeah, it's all really, really amazing work that Bart's doing. Yeah. Got them so good. By the way, I do have to just, just as a general blanket statement, say this, because I feel like in that last episode, I was quite harsh in some of the criticisms I made and maybe sna made some snap judgments that were a bit unfair. I apologize to any creator that I mentioned during that. It's going to happen from time to time, and it I happens. do apologize. Like... I, it's, it's always meant to be in good faith in the fact that hey i actually love your mod this is why i'm saying this so it can be better well, i mean yeah you wouldn't be you wouldn't be playing with it if you didn't exactly like the mod. yeah but at the same time i do realize sometimes i can say things that come off a little mean speaking of um huts recently did a modded rainbow polling stream Ooh, interesting. he he was using once more into the breach and uh expand the gungeon and enter the beyond i believe nice he got the spin down dice from Enter the Beyond. Ooh, I bet he which... played around with that quite a lot. Yeah, no, he 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 did bugged he, around with it quite a bit. Did he find out the glitch? Well, not the glitch, but the way of dropping them on the floor and then just re-rolling everything, or is that patch now? Yeah, he figured that one out. Yeah. Uh, he did find a couple bugs with it, but nothing like game breaking, which I think Bart will be uh, <laughs> relieved to hear. Yeah. But because he was using uh, spin down, he came across a, uh, quite a lot of modded stuff. But one of the things he got was sanctified oil. <laughs> and it was fucking terrible for him. Because he had nothing that worked with it. Oh, really? That's a shame, because it's such a fun item. Yeah, so based on his feedback, he, he immediately went into an ammo crisis. Yeah. So, sort of based on his feedback, I'm making it so that in the next update, sanctified oil gives full ammo when you pick it up. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah, because of course... Of course, it increases the max ammo, but it doesn't give you that max ammo. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. yeah. And to be honest, yeah, that was kind of an oversight on my end. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so I'm, I'm fine with fixing it. Ooh. That was... It, does it devolve them? It d I think it devolved them. That's really cool, and the effect's fucking awesome. Where? What mod is that from? Knife to a gunfight. That's a really cool... Cool idea. Kudos Honestly, to I gotta that say, looks really awesome. Ski's been doing some awesome stuff. He sent uh, the battering ram, I think it was, in in my Discord oh, yeah, the other day. Yeah. That's such a cool weapon. Yeah, I, I completely agree. That's awesome. Uh, for anyone wanting context, the battering ram is an in development an in development weapon from knife to a gunfight uh, that allows you to bust down doors and that like locked doors, secret room doors, and uh, enemy uh, uh, combat doors when you're in combat like you can break open a door and leave the room <laughs> so cool. it's very quick on it the recharge as well it looks like it happens Whoa. when you shoot it made a different noise that time <laughs> uh skilletar arg i think it just plays random i think it does it's just, it's just the first two times it's the same one so I was a little spooked. It sounds like, yeah. It, okay, not it sounds like. It looks like, um, to me at least, when you shoot to enemies in that radius, they uh, devolve. Mm, pretty cool. I like it. I like it. You have some of the two like stupidest items I've ever made. <laughs> Titanium clip and cyclopean <laughs> cylinder. Nuts. Even their names flow together so well. I mean, Cyclopean Cylinder is just a circumstance of alliteration. I'm guessing Titanium Clip has a synergy with Titanium Bullets. Or Platinum Bullets, sorry, is what I meant. Why would it? I don't know. The same colour, I guess. <laughs> they're both metals. They're, they're grey, Turtle. Do you have any idea how much shit in this game Make is grey? Make everything synergize if it's grey. See, this gun's grey. Why doesn't it synergize, you fuck? You... I hate you. I'm strangling you. <laughs> this is a great weapon. See, I hate him. I, I hate spending time with him, which is why I'm probably going to keep talking to him even after we're done recording. Because yeah. Well, I, I hate him. So, I hate him so much. I have to. I have to like figure out his weakness. <laughs> 
it's, he just it's, wants, he it's, just wants to hate fuck me. <laughs> oh, don't put it like that. <laughs> well, you know, you're right about one thing. I do hate the idea of fucking you. Jesus. No, don't put that image in my head. <laughs> Wait until I get down to New Zealand, big boy. You are, you are like, <laughs> terminally not my type. Jesus. I thought you could have said terminally not my friend. <laughs> That too, if this keeps up, yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. So, uh, anyways, it sounds like this is the sort of item you should use on big enemies like that guy. Let's see, like, does, does it. Oh no, they, they, they automatically devolve. Oh. That's a well, really I, unique mechanic to have devolving work with. I've not seen that, yeah, it's used, kinda I've like, seen that done before. It's kind of like a, de a devolution grenade, I guess. Yeah. I love the changes pretty to the alarm neat. mushrooms. The it's alarm mushrooms are, are so much more of a threat now. And the fact that they disable after you leave the room is just a cherry on top. Yeah. Like, uh, Apache has perfectly managed to justify adding a shit ton more of them by making them yeah, essentially well, because die on bef clear. Before, they were so hard to accidentally step on because there was just too few of them. And also, they could spawn in annoying places, which also is problematic, which seems to have been fixed. So he's perfectly made them actually a, a real threat to a room that fits into the floor really well, and of course it does, because it's intended for this floor. I should really try out the wand and then I fix up all these things. Um, yeah. Although like I don't wand? know how to fix the wonders. Wait, what? How do I change the, the mode? Uh, I think you press reload. I am pressing reload. Well, uh, it's fucked. Let's just ignore it. Shh, Honestly, shh, I think Bart would... Hmm? I said, shh, shh, let's just ignore that one. Shh, Oh, right, right. <laughs> anyway, I think Bart would probably prefer if we ignored the wand until it was all like, Yeah, I'm going to say, I, I really want to give the character a proper, thorough showcase once it's done, because it is genuinely a very cool character. Someone um, in the comments earlier, um, like on one of my old videos showcasing the character, referred to it as the Noita character, and I don't know where that's if that's where the inspiration comes from, but I certainly oh, it absolutely understand. Is. It absolutely is. Oh, I see. Okay. Good to know. I will say, um, just for Ski, this item is fucking awesome, but it recharges way too quickly. <laughs> yeah, it has a very, very fast recharge. I was really hoping I could, like, throw it at the shopkeeper to get some, like, intel. I don't know why <laughs> that would work. That'd be kind of funny. You throw it at the shopkeeper and he fucking turns into a giant arrow, Ken. <laughs> he turns into oh, Baby like, Bellow. He, ju he just turns into himself, but, like, even older. This is oh, devolution. Devil. Yeah, but like it's it's like him, but ye oldie. I guess. But if it's you like think his, about it, ye oldie bellow. It turns him into his grandpappy. Oldie, yeah, ye oldie bellow is is Just younger. Young <laughs> yeah. God, I hate how we measure time with the same fucking words for very different concepts. That's just the English language in general. It's so fucked. Like. In the olden times, everything was younger. What the heck? Hello again, sir. I did speak to Bunny about how common this thing is, and he did say he is going to reduce it heavily. Yeah, it's really cool, but it... Oh, shit. This th I was like, oh, yeah, I can get a free chest. Maybe in two years. <laughs> Although the I mean, damage... You, are, you do have Holy. double... Uh... Yeah, you have multiple big am uh, damage ups, and this guy has no uh, damage. <laughs> no chance. Uh, I'm sorry. So, what are you saying about oh! free chest? What is this? Persuasive bullets. I don't remember what it does, but I remember it being good. Whoa, what the hell? Why is this a reference to. I'm sorry, why is, why is it a reference to fucking. Uh, the Nazis? <laughs> Um, I don't think that was the Nazis, was it? Uh, the just following orders? Hmm. These bullets um, uh, adorned with a beautiful cap. The enemies of the Gunjun are all well acquainted with the military hierarchy and have to do what they're told. So th I guess the charm, maybe? What does this do? Uh, so Trinitas gives a... Yeah. It get, if Entering a secret room gives you money and a random permanent that's stash. That's why money upgrade. spawned. Because I picked it up yeah. in a secret room. I, like, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. You might want to look into that, go back into that secret room in the shop. Oh, good idea. See if that works. You're very right there. I'm going to use the D-pad yeah. and try and get it to run out of ammo, but I could be here a while. Well, 
I, I mean, what is it that's giving us bouncy bullets? Is it funky bullets that gives us? If we got funky bullets, I think that, that is. is. Oh like, yeah, it is, it, is, it is funky bullets. I was just really curious as to what it was, but I forgot I had funky bullets. Because giving them bouncy is making them far, far, far uh, better than normal. How dare you deal this much damage? <laughs> oh, I think it's because, right, this gun has a relatively long reload, so it doesn't suffer, like, any reload penalty. Mm, okay. Also, it looked like you uh, remote controlled one of those enemies. I did. I think that's got to be to do with the commanding bullets, hasn't it? Yeah. Probably. More than likely. Maybe. Allegedly. Drone! Drone probably won't be that good in this circumstance. Hey! Yeah, I got plus one coolness. You got coolness. plus one coolness. We Pretty said, oh, stuff. we were so, we're so in sync. So in sync. Um, yeah, drone probably won't be very good because it, uh, it has its, drone has a consistent damage stat. So it's not benefiting it's from not, more huge it, damage. I was going to say, it's not getting a, a massive damage. Yeah. That was a an intentional decision yeah, yeah. I, to make I, I drone agree. synergize in a certain way. So the drone has a static damage, but it fires as fast as you fire. So it's really bad with weapons that have high damage and shoot slowly, but it's really good with weapons that have low damage and shoot fast. Yeah. That is the first planet side room, which is kind of crazy. Normally I get loads of these. I mean, that's the idea. It's a good thing that it's rare, because before there were way too common. I think I'm just really lucky, and we'll take the all stats off as well. Why not? You may as well get another thing. Eh, I don't want either of those. Sure. That yeah, Unbreakable sure. Spirit thing, yeah, I still don't know what it does. It's a revive. It's it's a free life. Free one-up. Well, not I free, see. but it is a one-up. Um, and Chaotic Shift, I just don't like taking Chaotic Shift every room. It's a fun item, no, but yeah, it, gets, it gets less fun if you take it too much. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And normally it wouldn't be a problem, because for normal people, you get like one of those rooms a run like I just did. For me, I get like But, six. you know, you're just too skilled and too awesome, Honestly, and you I, just get all the I spoke rooms. To, I spoke to Bunny. It doesn't have all that much to do with skill. Skill is involved in how often those rooms show up, but I am obscenely lucky even still. Yeah, you're just so awesome and lucky, not to brag. But, like, he gets all the good loot, so you should totally, like, envy him. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, People envy my Isaac look, I'll tell you that for sure. True. My Isaac look is pretty insane. Especially during my, like, road to Dead God. I got some really crazy runs. I was gonna say, because I, I get go on tangents way too easily. Earlier I was gonna say, I was, when we were talking about the alarm mushrooms, Hutz actually had a really good suggestion, which was an alarm mushroom mimic. Oh, that could be interesting. Also, endless bullets is going to be fun with this. Wait, what? Unfortunately, even though range helps, uh, amount of times a bullet can bounce is a oh, separate stat. Okay. It yeah. is, isn't it? Yeah, I remember that. How, how, yeah, how much a bullet can bounce isn't based on range. Which is stupid, but, you know, whatever, I guess, I guess I'll live. I guess, I guess. Oh, funny thing, um, do you know how this, uh, that remote control effect actually works? I don't. I have no idea. It, it basically spawns an invisible, like, uh, decoy. Oh. Like, you tell an enemy to shoot somewhere, game spawns an invisible decoy at that location and tells the enemy to shoot at it. <laughs> it, it, it it's not like tech... Okay, it's not identical to a decoy. I'm, I'm comparing it to a decoy because it uses the, the same code logic yeah. as the decoy. It's not literally an invisible decoy, but it uses the same system. That's pretty cool. It literally though. makes an invisible object at that location that enemies are told to shoot at. <laughs> But why do it that way? That's so strange. Honestly, it's one of the cleaner bits of dodge roll code. <laughs> Unfortunate. Because uh, enemies can be told to shoot at any uh, any rigid body, which uh, in this game a rigid body is a hitbox. Yeah. 
So you can tell an enemy to shoot at any uh, hitbox you want, and they will like immediately be like, okay, that's my job now. So the game just makes a hitbox and tells them that's what you shoot at. It's pretty interesting. Pretty wacky stuff. I am interested Actually, to see just... like how much they've developed once that new game comes out. Yeah, if ever, you know, eventually. Once upon an eon. I'm kidding, I know like it takes time. I'm just teasing. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it'll come out in around three years. They've been working on it quite a while now. We've seen some yeah. some small sneak peeks of yeah, what it they, involves. They retroactively or proactively ripped off Elden Ring. Oh, the the, the pot guys, yeah. Ooh. Oh, so you got down. what the hell? Hello. You got plus something. Uh, it it was the uh, I think it's magazine size or no? Is it? No, that's not magazine size. It's uh. I love the uh, the visual. I really want to take the uh, holy hand grenade here. Oh, what the fuck? That's one of the bugs Hut's found. If you swap out another active for the dice, it doesn't erase the project the projection from the active you picked up. I do want to throw this thing. This is this is the thing that my character's holding in the thumbnail. Oh, <laughs> so cool! I'd love to use that more, what's but I can't the, uh, not take spin down. What's the third stat from the top? Um, magazine size? It can't because that's the fourth step. Oh, uh, max ammo. Ah, max ammo. You got a max ammo upgrade from that. Uh, ah, yeah, that, that makes room. sense because as you can see, it says 80, but I've got 88 on the right. Yeah. So it's just small stat upgrades for every secret room, but I don't know. I like Citrinitas. It's it's a very Isaac feeling item, I get. I guess. Pestilence? Pestilence gives one enemy each room the plague when you walk in. Nice. Spreading the good old plague. Uh, anyways, I was also going to say, when I was talking about Sanctified Oil, Hutz didn't get... I say he had no guns that work with it. He tried every gun in his inventory with it, and they were all shit. And he didn't try the one gun that would have been an amazing synergy. Oh, were you not in the comments, or did you watch it like, after? Uh, I watched a, uh, a VOD of it. Ah, damn. Yeah, he uh, he tried every gun in his... And this isn't his fault. Like, He tried every gun in his inventory and came to the conclusion it's not very good at the moment. And he just didn't bother testing the last one. But the last one was the fucking composite gun. <laughs> no, that would have been so good. Exactly, exactly. And I, I'm like, oh no, no, <laughs> mate, no. God damn, that would have that would have been like, insane. Yeah, damage on that thing. Yeah, but he just eventually wound up spinning down uh, sanctified oil, oil, and I, I, I can't say I blame him. Yeah, because <laughs> if it's an item like, you don't had... fully understand, it's not going to be a good item. Ooh, it gave this guy the plague. Very nice. Yeah. Unfortunately, Plague isn't permanent on bosses, because bosses have, uh, uh, status effect cooldowns. Did this guy chill out? Oh! <laughs> I shouldn't be stood in the middle of the room there, but still. What's the green shit all over the ground? I'm guessing that's poison oh, yeah, monster from blood. Monster Blood. <laughs> it looks so weird on this floor. I think it's just because of the shader, yeah. I don't think it's sh like a shader, I think it's just the floor texture is combining weirdly with it. Ah, uh, good old fashioned unused cannon balrog attack. That's a cool attack, definitely. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, but like two custom bosses, model bosses have used it. I can see why, to be fair. Shell. Ooh. Drone works interestingly with this. Yep, yeah, it's firing a bullet each time the uh, shotguns fire their shots. I like that. That's cool. That's an interesting quirk you got there. Why, thank you. That's an interesting quirk. But yeah, I do want to, like, um, I, I kind of spoke about this a little bit earlier in, in another video. I do want to kind of try and, like, give more sort of solo showcases to certain mods 
and I don't really know the best way of going about it. I did make a, a like a, a few episodes of like a, a gun and item showcase series, and I really enjoyed making it, but the amount of effort it took to make it was quite high, so it, they'd have to be doing like exceptionally well for me to want to keep up with that, especially if it's going to be I like mean, a weekly thing. Um, isn't like a gun and item showcase just a rainbow run? Kind of, but I'm also meant where like I, I give myself the gun and kind of show off what it does, but then like give some tips about it and then show off its synergies as well. I'm only like a full on showcase. So I'm not quite sure like how to do it with specific mods because um, like I don't know whether to maybe just sometimes every now and again do like one run with only one mod installed and then so, so I, I find that and then like have the mod magnet um on so i only find stuff from that one mod and it kind of gives it a bit of a better showcase i might do that every now and again especially if bigger updates come out but i'm still not sure yeah, how i want to fair. do that once more into the breach only run because <laughs> that's necessary <laughs> um but yeah uh we need to do it like indoctrinate chemicat yeah that's that that'd be an interesting one although chemicat really hasn't been very active with Isaac in a long while. That's why we need to... Oh, I have them in a freezer in my basement. We need to thaw them out and reactivate them. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea where Kemicat currently sits in terms of making content. It sounds like is... they just got bored. Yeah. I guess there's, 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 there's plenty of mods to still cover, so I, yeah, I'm not sure. Hello, Mr. Loading Screen. I know it'll it, it will load eventually. It's it's showing signs of trying to load. We'll 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 get there. I promise. Madong, Madong. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the Gungeon I'm, Madong. I'm gonna take it. We are we so. are Madurs, and we make mud, and we make we are Madurs. We make we make muds, and uh, the process is called Madong. Madong. Yes. Madong, dong, dong. Yes, Gungeon Madong. There is, uh, actually, just just because I want to before I play Elden Ring after this, there's a TV show that I'd really like you to watch, and I'm going to make you watch it. Oh, fine. It's not Peep Show. <laughs> fine, fine. I It's it's a skit comedy show, but uh -huh. it's, it's honestly one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen, and I think you'd quite like it. I should make you watch Slow Pete. Sloppy. Oh my god, it loaded. It only took around four or five minutes. But it finally got there. I'm not sure whose fault that is or what problem caused that. But it certainly exists. I don't know. Send me the log, I'll comb it. Do you know one day you're gonna tell me that and I'm gonna just like send you in the mail an actual log? That's an awful amount of expense for a joke that isn't very funny. Exactly. That, that, that is what makes it funny. The fact that it's way too much and not actually funny at all. And you claim you don't understand the kids' humour these days. <laughs> um, where was I? My brain just got completely derailed. Oh, Slow Pete. Right, yes, Slow Pete. Slow Pete, uh is fucking hell on earth. Oh no. I've not heard of Slow to Pete. Call it, to call it an animated show would be a disservice to animated productions. You should rock, oh, skip in down these spells. See what they turn into. Just another spell. No, I can, that, I can, that, come, I can I come back and get a sword. I don't, I don't think those are a spell. They don't follow the... <gasps> See, why, why do you think those were spells? They don't follow the spell format at all. I don't know. Oh god, this is gonna get real messy, because I'm gonna spin down every single spell that I find. You best believe. Uh, there's one in, there's one in that room! I don't have spin down ready, you dildus. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there's no need to call me a dildus. There's no need to go that far, okay? That's a bit hurtful. That's a little hurtful. It's like baby good Shelton, but like actually good. I like baby good Shelton. Baby good Shelton is a piece of shit. You're a piece of he shit. He deserves to be C tier and nothing more. You're a piece of shit. Him being S tier is actually a crime. 
swap, swap scramble on that, and I'd be happy. God. So I know, like, it's not, it's not Bart's fault. Like, if you're making something to spin down items, I, items and everything else all have the same, like, code. So it's difficult to differentiate. And Bot needs to add in a manual, like, list of all the things that shouldn't spin down. Yeah. Which is fair. That's, like, difficult to do. So when I say this, I'm not, like, saying that Bot is any way at fault for this because it's, it's an honest right oversight. Works. Yeah. It's just really funny to me how much spin down breaks and lets you spin down shit you should not be able to. And get multiple copies of things and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah. It is, it is a, it's a wild card item. It certainly is. I'm interested by how all spells seem to spin down into the same item. Yeah, I Meaning I am all too. spells must somehow have the same ID. That is kind of interesting, isn't it? That's not normal. Yeah, you know, I don't know how Bart's done that, but it's impressive. Also, yeah, the uh, the five casing pieces have, are also an oversight. They still spin down into uh, thingamy. That uh, time slow downy thingy. Come on, my 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 sweets, my pretties. That's really interesting. The casings followed you into the other room, but when you spun them down in that other room. They turned into uh, the right item, but they did it in the original room they started in. Oh. Oh, it's God. Really weird. You did this to yourself. I know. Still. That, that's another really use for Alexandria, actually. Because we, we're working on a system of tagging items where you can add tags to something so that other modders can know yeah. easily cross mod whether or not something should do something and sh like exempt from spin down would be a really good item tag so That's that if idea, modders yeah. add new pickups and, and stuff they can exempt them from bot spin down this is the monkey barrel wait it doesn't really work <laughs> It gets like one monkey out the door and it's like, bye. Oh yeah, beams are <laughs> fucking shagged. I forgot. <laughs> Monkeys I are kind of one and done. That beams are stupid. Shooting star, I believe, is a spaffy item. It what fires the a lot. Fuck? It certainly fires a lot. Oh, it must have an instant reload time, then. Nice. That sounds like a recipe for disaster for me, but in a good way. Yeah, um, I, oh yeah, Slow Pete. Uh, Slow Pete is a series that was really produced by TVNZ, which is the big television thing over here. It's about a s sperm. Oh, God. Named Pete. I feel like you've told me about this before for some reason. Who is slow? A sperm named Pete who is slow. He doesn't he don't swim fast. And... God, it's so bad. I've watched the whole thing multiple times with people to, to like, make them suffer <laughs> the way I have. Like you did with a cooking show with me. Yeah, I still have more cooking to show you, by the way. You still haven't seen Iron Wrath. Oh no, oh no. Uh, Iron Wrath has made, um, things that I've heard people dub as dirt tea and, uh, artisanal sewer salad. Oh, lost. I, I purely imagine. based on looks. But it's, it's terrible. He, like, I'm not even going to tell you more than that. It's just, I want you to see it. Oh god, I love this flag. It's beautiful. Um, <laughs> You have no one to blame but yourself. Oh yeah, I fully blame myself. I accept. I accepted the risks. Bouncing beams and a lot of them are so laggy. Oh hello. Godhead bullets. No, no. That would be so enough lag. No, I want more lag. It'd be fun. I mean, dragon will probably drop you the money to get it if you don't get hit. Fat chance, am I right? Um, oh god. 
I, get, I need to get yeah. out this thing. I need to get out this thing to try and hopefully block the bullets. Yeah, so slow peat is... It's not animated. It is a show where it is just shot, reverse shot, of characters in static scenes talking, and by talking, their eyes move and their mouths open and close. And nothing else happens. Mm. It's about a, a sperm who's bad at swimming. Seems like a really good premise. They've really hit the nail on the head with that one. Yeah. The exec server at New Zealand TV Incorporated. Really See, did a good job. The, okay. The, I did a lot of research into this because... <laughs> Of course I did, because I had to know, right? I had to know what the fuck this was on about. <laughs> Apparently, the first episode was produced entirely independently by a, a couple who runs a blog about their journey of uh, having a baby through IB... Uh, no, I almost said IBS. through IBS. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I, IVF. <laughs> you put a horrible thought in my head. Yeah, so basically, this couple wanted a kid. <laughs> oh god, I just had a terrible fault. I'm not gonna say it. Oh, too... well, you mean like, it comes out and it's on a slip and slide of fucking <laughs> liquid shit? No, I was more so thinking that a couple was documented their journey of trying to have a child, but they didn't know that, they'd ha that they were doing anal and it wouldn't work. <laughs> oh god, that sounds that's so fucking funny. But for some reason, my body also didn't laugh. Like. Oh, I wow. registered in my head, that's the, that's incredibly funny, and my brain went, you're not allowed to laugh at that. <laughs> and the fact that it's called through IBS just makes it even worse. I mean, oh. to be fair, if you were uh, intensely trying to have a child that way, you probably would have a bit of an irritated <laughs> bowel. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, God. We go but places here. We go were, places. They were trying to have a baby through IVF, and it, it, they had some difficulty, and they had a blog about it. And apparently, the guy took a little while for things to take, so to speak. And so he nicknamed, uh, he nicknamed it. Uh, you know, that petri dish has slow peat in it. Slow peat, lovely. And he made a short thing because he's not an animator and he just seems like a fairly normal guy. You just left? I just... No, I didn't leave. I just kind of died inside because of the lag, but I'm not gonna drop any weapons. I refuse. So... The, uh... This, the gentleman produced one episode of Slow Pete, and the real culprit is a talent scout for TVNZ who saw this episode <laughs> oh God, I'm and gone. went, mm, TV we need to this. have this. Yeah. We need to have this. I don't think this ever aired on TV, but it is on the official TVNZ website. Oh, God. Imagine that on TV. I hope it never aired on TV. Uh, I bet it did at some point. For some reason. God. Um, yeah, so this talent scout finds it. It's like, we need to have this. Um. By the way, can I just point out that my DPS is minus nine, 90. No, is, it, is that 9 billion? You are a medic. <laughs> Um, stealing everything. Yeah, uh, the DPS calculations are an estimate, and are a little uh, bit of a little bit of a wonky estimate at that. Like that's that's the one thing Morpheus, I think, said that he sort of just sort of winged it on was the DPS calculations. I mean, because there wasn't really a, a good way to solidly calculate DPS. 
that's fair. Why, why are you making more? Oh, that's fun. Oh yeah, I, I like fucking crashing my entire life. Also, even though this isn't um, bot's fault in any way, shape or form, I like making bot feel uncomfortable. You've made everyone feel uncomfortable. I mean, with the comments of today, we, we definitely have. Yeah. We've given everyone an IBS. <clears throat> nah, mate, we have verbal IBS, but we, we always have verbal diarrhea. We do. We do. That's very true. Ah, what well, hit me then? I'm probably gonna die. I shot. I, I shot grab. I shot grab, genius. Probably a shot grab. Turtle, you dumb fuck. Oh, God, God, I'm sorry. I feel bad whenever I like call some. Like it's it's so fun to call someone a dumb fuck, but I always feel bad afterwards. <laughs> it's just like instant regret. Yeah, turtle, you kind and compassionate gentleman. How does I? I like how you have the like the the drone and a bunch of fucking beyond <laughs> centuries. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> uh, one thing I always find funny about when it makes like any game makes you have super low FPS, we're actually killing this guy at insane speeds, but it's going so slowly because of the frame rate. Man, I love frame rates. Abbreviated, of course, to MILF. <laughs> I thought he said finger then. <laughs> I can smell your finger. <laughs> oh. Wait, does he have, did he have a second phase? Yes, he does. Oh, I, I, you know, I never even knew that. I've seen this guy so many times, I never knew he had a second phase. He do, he do. He dies and then revives himself and then comes back more angry. Just like me. Hmm. That was a Sucky. genuine yawn. A big old genuine yawn. Yeah. Oh, you Lord. know, it's getting... You know, it's, uh... It's morning for me, so obviously I've had a, a long night of not sleeping. You're doing all right, though. I don't you know, know what I'm you doing actually just, I'm just saying that you are, so you will. You know, you'd make a great therapist. <laughs> Be uh, better. God, just smile yeah. more. Easy. All right, welcome to therapy. My first advice is don't be a little bitch. <laughs> Try not to be like such a fucking cuck about things. <laughs> I like the I like to think as well the fact that you phrased it as my first advice is just like how poor of a therapist you are. You don't even know how to phrase it correctly. My first advice. <laughs> yes, my my first um looks at notes uh sentence <laughs> is uh how about you stop being such a fucking little bitch. <laughs> There's a, there's a whole subplot in um, in Peep Show where one character that is not licensed or able at all to be a therapist becomes a therapist, um, like, in like out of his bedroom oh, for, like, a few of his friends like and me. stuff. And, it oh, my God. like me. It's bad. <laughs> I have to do that. It's fun. He's just, like, uh, like he's, he's gets this guy to basically open up about all of his insecurities, and then he just goes and tells everyone. <laughs> I'm not even sure what to say to that, that's despicable. It is. It's like, it's like when you're trying to play along with the haha, we're, we're all terrible people, you know, joke, parentheses, parentheses, you know, not parentheses, fucking quote unquote joke that we're all terrible yeah. people. It's like, you want to be like, to think of the, the thing that ups it and be like, but you're just sort of left speechless. Like, I, I can't imagine like what anyone would say in this situation. Good or bad, I don't know, I'm speechless. Yeah, to be fair, Jeremy is a huge piece of shit in that show. He does a lot of very unethical things, one of which is murdering someone's dog and then eating it in front of them. Oh yeah, you made me watch that. <laughs> it's 
funny when it happens, but looking back on it, it's not very funny. I thought I thought for a second you had made the conscious decision, you know, to take a turn no. and do something different with your life. No. But no, we're just fucking here. We got one heart and like five hey, blanks. Hey, turtle! How about fight. you don't be such a little fucking bitch? See, if you if you look actually, if you look closely, there is brief moments every like twelve. 15 seconds where I get one to two seconds of zero lag. So we, we just gotta take... Yeah, it's when they're not firing. I know, we just gotta take those times. Take the opportunity as we see it, see it coming and make sure we get as many shots in as we can. I did press roll, but the game did not register that I pressed roll in any way, shape or form. I'm shocked. I couldn't have seen that one coming. I'm fucking appalled, mate. I, I don't even know what to say. It's despicable. How how could this have happened to you? <laughs> a good, upstanding citizen. You didn't do anything that would cause any form of lag, and yet no, here no, we no. are. No, no, no. Lag just follows me around. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you have a sign saying lag me stuck to the back <laughs> of your head. Lag me, baby. Looking for lag. Post it on Craigslist. No, I don't want love or sex. I just want you to fucking ruin my computer. <laughs> my kink is inviting women over to completely destroy my system. <laughs> I want them. I want. I want someone to come in and like delete System 32 while I just watch and moan softly. Oh my! By it's the like, way, oh, what, yeah, I don't baby. know what's going on this time around. Oh but it really fuck yeah! Like you. It. you you empty that pottle of lint into the fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, fucking mm, drip fucking I can just solder imagine on my someone's CPU. Gonna, someone's going to walk in right now while you're making these noises and be very concerned for your health. No, and my dad My dad would never walk in on me. He, he doesn't want to know what happens. <laughs> uh... It's a very intense battle. It really is. It's it's quite literally a slideshow. I'm impressed by the fact that I'm not dead yet. I don't even think this is Bot's fault. It, it no, might it's be. not. It's not Bot's fault but at I all. Don't, I don't think there is, there is it is no Bot's fault. I think there's it's no just... situation in which you should ever have this many of this familiar. Ever. I, I think, think it's just a when problem was... with... Uh, bouncing beans. I think it is. When I was on like three familiars, it was fine. It was on only once I hit like five or six that it really started to have an issue. Well, yeah, but like that could that could be bot's fault or the game's fault. I'm gonna say it's the game's fault. I wouldn't put like, that burden on bot. I th I think it's just bouncing the fact that bouncing beams and having a lot of them at once is fucking with the game. Uh, I I leave the possibility open that maybe there's something going wrong that bot tried to do special with the beams, but that's, like, unlikely, given that this game does not need help breaking. Oh my god! Blank! Blank! I tried to blank! I was desperately trying to blank! <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed I think that. I, this was a, a great success. A great, a great success. I, I absolutely love the fact that we got that... Just wacky synergy between your two items. That was really fun. It completely changed how every gun worked. Yeah. I always love things like that. They're stupid, but I love them. Especially when you're allowed to drop them. Because then if you don't like it, you just don't have to keep it. Yeah. Like... I, I sort of decided that I'm not going to make anything undroppable unless, it, unless it's either, like, exploitable. Or if it's... Like, like, you don't want people to, to drop the Libran of Chambers, yeah. Yeah, if it's broken or glitchy. Libran of Chambers, I think, should work fine if it's dropped, but I don't remember. Anyways. Anyways, it's been over an hour. Has it? Oh, the time flies. It the does. time flies when you're with someone you absolutely despise and time are only spending time with for the money. when the game is running <laughs> two frames per second. Time flies when the game doesn't. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.
All right, give me your wallet, motherfucker.